Welcome to the Art in Medicine studio. It's almost the end of September and I was reminiscing. I was reminiscing on a day I took the nurses from Five Tower to the Metropolitan Museum of Art. We looked at an art piece that I would like to share with you today. And then we went to the studio and created prints. What's nice about print is that you're creating a drawing that then can be replicated again and again. So it's a lot of fun. So in order to do that, you would need certain things. You would need your art box or if you have materials at home, you're welcome to collect what, what I need are markers. It's all in the art box. A pencil, styrofoam plate, scissors, because we are going to cut Remember, nothing has to be perfect. Styrofoam plate. See, when I press on it, it leaves marks. Those marks will print if we put color on it. And we'll see today how. What the nurses really, really loved was a beautiful mask from Benin in Africa. And I wanted to invite Ishan and see if we can look at it together before we can figure out what we would like to draw, what we would like to print, and do we want to be inspired by an image or do we want to just create something on our own? Hello, Ishan. Hi, Nitsa. And I know just the mask you're talking about. Tell me, what, what, what do you like about this mask? I love the different textures that you can see that have been carved into it. I love how intense the facial expression is. It's very powerful. And I just love that it's so old and even um, and I'm sure you know how old it is, Nitsa. How old is it? Yes, I do. It's from the 16th century, which means it was carved in the 1500s, unfortunately, out of an elephant tusk, out of ivory. Yeah, because back then they, they did that. And, you know, we don't do that anymore. But, um, <laughs> but it is a very beautiful mask. And... It's at the Metropolitan Museum and it's very powerful work of art. And it's actually really small. It's actually too small to fit on a face. So what do you think a mask that's too small to fit on a face could use for, if not a mask? I think you could hang it on your wall and have it just be an artwork. That's right or use it as a pendant. So this is a pendant that tells us about someone. Do you think that someone is important? I think so. Do you feel it's a boy, a girl, a male or a female? To me, it could be either way. I mean, they seem to be wearing a uh, jewelry of some kind. So I would think it's a girl. It's a coral necklace. Beautiful and a tiara that looks like a crown. Wow. And if you look at the tiara, there are creatures on it. There's mudfish because the king, the Oba who made it, believed that this person is superhero that can be on land and in water. And it's just such an important person that, that when the Oba sat down in his court, he would always wear this mask. And he would say, this is the only person I take advice from. This is the most important person in my life. Look at the eyes. Do you feel the personality of this person is what? Intense, powerful. Intense. <laughs> yeah. Though I also see 
wisdom and I see a, a level of principle that this person has. So yeah, it's a very important person. So here comes the trick question. It's a woman. Would you say the king listens to his wife or his mother? I think he listens to his mother. Yes, so this is the Ioba. You see, Oba is the king. Ioba is his mother, his queen mother. She's represented here as his counselor, as his advice, and she's one of very few works from Benin that represent women at all. She was a very, very treasured and important person so much that he would have her worn on his gown as he was giving advice to other people. You could also see on her mask the Portuguese traders who came in and out of the country and would trade goods. So maybe they also tried to impress them in the 1500. That who knows what they were trading? Any thoughts you have about why there's two rectangles up on her forehead, Ishan? I think they look like maybe some kind of face paint or maybe, I don't know. What are they, Anitza? So these are the individual tattoos people would decorate their face with because in Africa, when you have marks of an experience you have that is above the unusual, you are stronger than someone who has not experienced. So in a way, scars represent power. Amazing. And I imagine the king's mother has a lot of experience. That's <laughs> granted, but she was just one that was celebrated most time in Benin. It was the king who had the authority to tell people what to do without seeking advice. So for me, when I wanted to show you how to create a print, I sat down by the table and drew the queen mother. I looked at it on a computer and I drew it on paper. And this is what I came up with just on regular paper. I took styrofoam and I put it right underneath. And I made sure I didn't move anything. And I traced, I traced my drawing, pressing hard to create indentations. Then I painted it with my markers. And then I removed the plate. Wetted a little bit of paper. You have plenty of watercolor paper in your art box. And I created a print. And that's what came out. Wow, that is beautiful, Nita. What's really nice about it is that I can wash it, repaint it, I could add color, and we can make monoprints. Monoprints mean that even though you're using the same plate, every print you make is different. That is amazing. I love how you can change the colors for each print. And it's styrofoam, so you could even put it under some water and wash off the, the marker let it dry, and then start again, as many times as you like. In addition, you could use your pencil, it could be color pencil, to create additional lines and change with the different colors. I really hope you can experiment with it. Ishan, there's a problem. If I wanted to write my name on the styrofoam, when I print, it comes up backwards. Right. I know you're a doctor and I really needed your advice. 
how in the world do I figure out how to write my name or anything backwards? So what I did is I got a piece of paper, just simple printer paper will do, um, that is pretty thin. You don't want it to be too thick. And you want to use a permanent marker like this Sharpie. We have it in our box. Excellent. And the good thing about the permanent marker is that when you write on the paper, it goes right through it. Oh. So I wrote the text. And as you see, I wrote it in two different languages. And then you just turn the paper around and you get the mirror image. Oh, I was like, what in the world? Yeah, I can write it the right way, but how do I get the backwards? So I just look at the back of the paper. Exactly. It's simple. And then you just take it with the back facing the front, put it on your styrofoam, get your pencil and make the indentations on your styrofoam underneath. So one way you could take a piece of paper, draw on it and transfer it by pressing to the styrofoam. Another one is just take your styrofoam and make your marks on it. To be able to get this sunk line. Mm -hmm. And then you can paint it and print. That would be really good as the holidays are coming in because you make one and you can make a whole bunch of cards from it. Exactly. It's a great way to make holiday cards for all of your family because you don't need to draw all of them again and again. You just need to make one beautiful thing once and you can print it as many times as you like. So Ishan, can you show me how you transfer the words into your plate and create your own print? Yeah, definitely. So first I cut off the rim, just like you did. Then I wrote the text like I showed you on my paper. I flipped it around. I put it on my styrofoam. I made the indentations with a pencil, not too sharp. A blunt pencil actually works really well with a blunt pencil. And then I used different colored markers, just like you did. And I printed it on different pieces of paper. You know, one big advice that I received was to, if you're gonna use the yellow, use it first because the yellow on other colors could get stained and then you, use, you lose your yellow marker. So when you're creating your composition, one thing I found helpful is to start from the light colors and go to dark. Ah, oh, that's a very good idea, Nitsa. Thank you so much, Ishan. And thank you, thank you, Five Tower, for everything you do every day, every night, every weekend. We really, really, really look up to you and feel so grateful to have you there for the community that has to use your space. And thank you, Hope and Heroes. And I really, really can't wait to come back to our studio and have fun. Please send me anything, notes or artwork to amitza at gmail.com and see you soon. Much love. Bye-bye.